Number one is text. Text refers to written or printed material, including books, newspapers, magazines, articles, websites, emails, and the other form of written communication. Number two, audio. Audio media includes sound recordings such as music, podcasts, radio broadcasts, speeches, sound effects, and any other form of audio content that can be heard. Number three, visual. Visual media encompasses images, photographs, graphics, illustrations, paintings, diagrams, charts, and any other form of visual representation. Number four, motion media. Motion media consists of moving images, including videos, films, animations, television programs, and other dynamic visual content. Number five, manipulative. Manipulatives are physical objects or materials used for hands-on learning or interactive experiences, such as educational toys, puzzles, models, tactile, diagrams, and other tangible tools. Number six, people. People, as a category of media, refer to interpersonal communication and human interactions, including face-to-face -face conversations, interviews, presentations, performances, and any other form of direct interaction between individuals. Edgar Dale's Cone of Experience Ever wonder why some things you learn stick in your brain forever while others vanish like smoke? It all comes down to how information is presented. Imagine a pyramid. The wider, hands-on experiences like doing or observing things are right at the base. The most memorable, think learning to ride a bike you never forget. As we climb the pyramid, things get a bit more abstract. Demonstrations and visuals like pictures help bridge the gap, like this one. Lectures and readings are higher up, requiring more effort to retain information. At the very top are verbal symbols like words alone. The key takeaway, the best learning engages multiple levels of this pyramid. Five rules of media in an instructional process. Number one, instructor-directed learning. Media like presentations, videos, or demonstrations can be used by teachers to introduce concepts, provide clear explanations, and guide students through the learning process. Number two, Learner-directed learning. Media like simulations, educational apps, or online tutorials empower students to explore topics at their own pace, investigate independently, and practice skills. Number three, portfolios. Students can use digital tools to collect multimedia evidence of their learning journey, including images, videos, and written reflections. This allows them to showcase their Thematic instruction. Media can be a powerful tool for thematic teaching. Documentaries, historical photos, or even interactive maps can bring various aspects of a theme to life, helping students see connections across disciplines. 5. Distance education. Media is essential for distance learning. Video conferencing platforms allow for live interaction. There are 10 methods of instruction. Student-centered methods include discussion, cooperative learning, gaming, simulation, discovery learning, and problem solving. For teacher-directed methods, we have presentation, demonstration, drill and practice, and tutorial. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned a lot in this lesson.